You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. First National Banking Company. Get checking that pays with Super Plus Checking at FNBC. FNBC celebrates 100 years. After 100 years of service to the community, FNBC celebrated with a gathering and a special big reveal that wowed the audience. By Lauren Siebert after a full century of hard work and dedication to the surrounding communities, First National Banking Company was happy to celebrate 100 years in business, on February 24. FNBC kicked off the festivities around 10.30 a.m. with eager participants rushing in to join in the festivities, waiting for the big reveal that was to come. As the day progressed, tickets were given out, and names called to see who the lucky individual would be, to enter into the inflatable money vault for a chance to win some cold, hard cash. Once a participant had entered the vault, fans began blowing in full force, making it difficult to catch the flying ones, fives, tens and twenties. With all the excitement going on, the Ozarka College Culinary Department was there to cater the event and keep everyone refreshed and ready for more. At around noon, all attendees gathered outside for a ceremonial ribbon cutting by the Spring River Chamber of Commerce, and to finally see what the big reveal was. This is an exciting time and an exciting year for us, Chief Executive Officer Martin Carpenter said, there are not that many businesses that have been around here a hundred years and we're one of the few. Carpenter stated that FNBC has seen two world wars, numerous conflicts and the Great Depression, many recessions, a few robberies, and the Great Recession of 2008 and has survived it all, growing to be the success story it is today. Carpenter and the team at FNBC attribute much of their success to the people who make our area great. The reason we're still here is because we've always had a partnership with our community, our customers, and citizens, CEO Carpenter said, working together to make things better. Carpenter made note of some of the plans FNBC has in store this year to kick off the next hundred years. We'll be doing some exciting things this year in the markets that we serve, Carpenter said. We hope you'll join with us all year long as we celebrate. Once Carpenter had finished his speech, President Marty Sellers stepped up to the mic to introduce the big reveal. As we look forward to the next hundred years we have to remember that we must remain humble, we must remember our roots and we must face the brutal facts, Sellers said. The brutal fact is, we've had good management and good leadership in our organization, but we need a better coach. As Sellers spoke of a new coach coming into the organization, he explained that CEO Carpenter had been part of the team for 40 years, and that he himself had been on the team for more than 30 years. Sellers explained that FNBC has high expectations for the new member of their team, and that hopefully one day the new coach will become a household name. As Sellers finished his thought, trumpet sounded to welcome the new addition to the FNBC team, and everyone eagerly waited to meet the new addition, as Bill the Money Coach, FNBC's new mascot, appeared from behind the building, shaking hands as he went. Once Bill had been introduced and the ribbon-cutting ceremony was complete, everyone gathered inside once again for the cutting of the cake, followed by a champagne toast and then one lucky finalist was given the chance to win $1,000 in the inflatable money vault. To finish out the day, everyone gathered outside for the final time, to help send off exactly 100 balloons signifying each year NEF NBC has been in business. It's been a good hundred years. Thanks for listening to Spring River Chronicle Audio on the Go. Be sure to subscribe to the paper and check us out online at myspringriver.com.